Hey there, welcome back to Minifig Monday. This is another custom figure. Uh, this, I, so this is kind of the story. So the new Barbie movie's coming out, right? And I kind of wanted to make a custom Barbie figure. This ended up being that. It was kind of unintentional. I was just making a custom girl to go with the creator Tuk Tuk vehicle that I had gotten um, earlier in the year um, on the Universal trip. You saw that uh, Tuk Tuk review, that little um, Lego store set. I wanted to create some figures to go with that, and so I did that. And I created this figure to be just basically another girl, just like a a trendy, you know, TikToker or whatever, like a, a social social media influencer girl type character to go in that Tuk Tuk, just be like, you know, happy to go along with that set because it doesn't have any figures. But I ended up unintentionally creating a 2023 Barbie figure. And I'm actually kind of happy that I did. So it's kind of based on Margot Robbie's version. And here's 360 of her. She got two different accessories. And I just created her out of the blue. You know, why not? Um, and I really like, my favorite part about this figure is the leg piece. The legs are so cool to me. Um, this is 100% custom. It's not a Lego, like, official figure, but it does have official Lego pieces. So it's not knockoff, okay? Don't click off the video. It's not Creo or Faco or Mega Blocks or anything like that. It's official Lego, okay? It's just not a actual figure that it comes from a set. So if that makes any sense, there we go. We're moving on. So, this is Barbie. Um, she has a couple of accessories. I gave her the Buzz Cola, and this is actually from, I believe this is from Homer Simpson's um, Dimensions pack. I do have that. Sadly, he's broken. The whole thing's broken, but I do have that Buzz Cola. Uh, let me see if I can take that out of her hand so I can show you this piece here. It's a very excellent print, and there's also an excellent print on the top for the can. So that's very nice. And that goes in her hand. I'll leave that out of her hand for just a minute um, so we can take a look at her other accessory, which is a phone. So yeah, this is a phone here. It's uh, it's kind of a, a common Lego Friends phone piece. It's, it's not even that like unique. It's just a common piece, like a one by two flat tile with printing on it. Let me see if I can show you that right there, if it will focus got some music it's very you know iphone-esque very you know girly kind of with the teal color and i think it worked really well for her um and yeah those are her two accessories um her hair piece is from lego friends now i'm not really sure where this came from like what set um actually i do know which set this came from this came from the the lego friends heart lake city pool I am 90% sure that's what this is from. And I think it was Stephanie, actually. Stephanie's hair. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Let me bring in Stephanie. I actually have one here. So that's her. Here's this hair piece. I think it's meant to be the same character. I am pretty sure. Someone who's invested in Lego Friends more than me will definitely let me know. But I really like this hair piece. It's a really cool hair piece. It's got like a ponytail, like a standard blonde ponytail, but it does have a pink cap. Um, a pink cap right there, like kind of built into it, which is just so cool to me. I, I, I really like that. It's very summer, very summer-esque, and I decided to give her that. Um, I'm a big fan of Lego ponytail pieces. I, I just think they're really nice looking, and that's no exception with this character here. And I decided to give her the trendsetter torso i just had that on hand just randomly i don't know I just i just had it and looks very good she got chains you know a couple necklaces got a bow very cool striped shirt it looked very really nice to me so i used it and the pants the legs are my favorite part it's just so good got like um metallic i don't know what these are these look like classic space logos but i don't think that's what they are i think they're like stars or something very 90s-esque, you know, over-the-top yoga pants with the... It just... I don't know what this is called exactly, but I know 
that it is very 90s so yoga-esque outfit the legging jeggings or whatever whatever they're called they look really good with the pink colors and there is nothing on the back which is fine honestly it doesn't actually bother me at this point um and there is no alternate face unfortunately this head it just has a single face i don't remember exactly what girl this head is from i just really liked it and i like the beauty mark as well near the mouth and the smile is, I don't know, it's just very pleasant, very nice looking. And when I put it next to the, or when I put the, um, when I use this head with this hair, I just, it all came together, you know? It all looked really well, really well done. And I'm a big fan of this figure. I think this is probably one of my favorite custom figures that I've done. Probably my top three. I think Kylo Ren is still my favorite custom that I've done. Um... I think Barbie might be number two, number three. It's kind of goes back and forth, but this is a great figure in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. And I decided that she is so great that I, for the summer, or for summer is going forward, I'm going to be using this figure as my profile fi picture on the channel, along with another figure. Let me get him really quickly. If I can find him, here he is. The yuppie character from series 17. I just, I thought they worked really well together. They both have pink, they both have a very summer vibe. So I just thought that worked. Let me know what you think of this Barbie custom figure. Do you think it could be better? Uh, what do you think about the new movie coming out? I'm definitely very hyped to go see it, honestly. With all the marketing and stuff that's behind it, it seems like a, it's gonna be a good time. But let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think, of, just in general, about this figure. And have you made a custom Barbie or a custom minifig in general for the summer let me know down below um thank you for your support i i appreciate it very much and uh i'll see you in the next video stay tuned for more until then i'll see you later have a great day folks